Hello students. Today we will be drawing this figure that is visible to you on the screen. So we will be using certain commands, certain draw commands, certain modify commands to draw this figure. So let us start it. Let us form a strategy. How will you be drawing this figure? So I'll just explain it to you. So in this figure, you are able to see certain circles. Okay, let us see like this circle is there. Then this smaller circle, this larger circle. And these are two same on, on the side also. Okay, these are also same. Then this is an arc. This is also an arc. This is also an arc or you can say semicircle. This arc is there. This arc is there the circle is there and similarly on this side also right so first of all what we will be doing in this we will be marking the centers of the circles okay we will mark the center we will start from here okay let us suppose this is the center of the figure from here it is given that vertically it is equal to 48 mm okay and then you can see it is like 62 from this center to this center so it is 31 on the left side and 31 on the right side like this we'll start this and then next is from this top it is 90 mm over here okay so from here again i can draw a line vertically downwards which is equal to 90 mm okay and then from here you draw a line of 84 like it is total is 84 so it will be 42 on the left side and 42 on the right side like this right so like this we will be able to find out the centers First of all, we'll locate the centers and then we'll draw the figures further. Okay, so let us start. Let us move to AutoCAD. Let us move to line command. So I will use direct distance entry method. Okay. Let us suppose this is the center of the figure. Okay, so I'll turn on this ortho mode. So it was 48 vertically upwards, right? And then 31 on the left side, 31 on the right side, 31, and again 31 on the right side. So you can use copy command also for this. Then vertically downwards, either you draw 90 mm from here or you draw 42 mm from this corner also. You can draw 42 mm. This is 42. Okay. And then 42 on the left side, press enter. And again, now let us use copy command. Select copy command, select the figure. Press enter. Take this as the base point. Sorry. Take this as the base point and you place it over here. Right. So now let us mark points. Go to point command. specify a point let us say this is first point again point command select the point command from here let us select multiple points click over here and this is the end point click over here click over here and click over here right now go to p type point style 
press enter let us take this as the point style now you can see all the points are visible to us we can delete these lines let us draw the circles now let us start from here so this is smaller circles of radius 5 and larger circles of radius 11 go to circle command smaller circle is of radius 5 press enter again circle command larger circle is of radius 11 again press enter now you can just select these two and then go to copy command take this as a base point the center and place it over the other center of the circle that you need to draw right next let us draw the other one so it is its smaller circle is of radius 10 larger circle is of radius 17 again circle command smaller circle of radius 10 larger circle is of radius 17 right so again you can copy this these two take this as the base point and you place it over here so this is the lower portion of the object so just see we have drawn these two circles these two circles here also we have drawn two two circles right now let us draw these arcs over here so for these arcs we are not given with the center of the arc but the radius is given to us Okay, and these arcs you can see these form a tangent over here. These are tangent to the circle over here. Right? So it is R48. So we'll use tangent tangent radius for this. So go to circle command, go to tangent tangent radius, specify object on the first tangent. Let us suppose this is the first tangent, this is the second tangent right and then radius of the circle it is 48 right 48 and press enter so you can see this has been drawn so you can use trim command to remove the excess part so trim command right tr and press enter twice once and twice this we have deleted then let us move to the next arc so this arc also we do not have the center of this arc okay but it is given to us that the radius is equal to 50 so again this is also it is tangent over here and it is tangent over here also okay good circle command tan tan radius specify point on the object for the first tangent let us say this is the first tangent this is the second tangent right radius is equal to 50 press enter right so this also has been drawn so tr press enter twice so rest you can delete so i suppose this much is clear to you next is we will go to line command we will draw this now vertically downwards from here it is equal to uh, you will be just touching it over here on the circle just see line command like this and then you draw a vertical line over here similarly you can just copy this go to copy command like this as the base point and you place it over here right next is let us draw 
this arc or you can say semicircle this is a semicircle that has been drawn okay for this we will be using arc command okay in which we will be using the three point arc center point so this is the center point of the arc this will be the start point of the arc and this will be the end point of the arc so go to arc command go to center take this as the center specify start point of the arc this is the start point and then end point this is the end point of the arc click over here right next is if we move downwards this is r25 given to us okay so here also here let us draw a circle so this is center of the circle radius is 25 right 25 and press enter lower portion you can trim right tr and press enter twice so it can be deleted So next is we will trim the extra parts. So right, T R. Press enter twice. So trim this. And trim this. Now, if you see the figure, the actual figure. Here you can see an arc. This is an arc over here. Here also an arc is there. Right, so this arc is of radius 12. So this can be drawn by TTR 10 10 radius. Go to circle command, select 10 10 radius, first tangent, second tangent, and radius is equal to 12. Press enter. Okay, and for the other side, let us use fillet command. Go to fillet command. Okay, select the radius. Radius is equal to 12. Press enter. Then select the first object. This is the first object. And this is the second object. So here you can see already it has been drawn. In this case, we will have to trim the extra part. Write TR. Press enter twice. So you can trim the extra part. And you can trim this also. So you can see the maximum of the figure we have drawn for the center portion or center circle you are not given with any dimension right so you can you know with an estimate you can draw this circle go to circle command take this as a center so let us draw it this much okay so this figure is complete now with respect to outline you can see so next is let us increase the line weight of the figure select the whole figure the outline should be thick so let us make it 1 mm right now if you see the figure there is hatching also in between so we need to do the hatching For hatching, let us go to hatch command. This is hatch command. Okay. Pick internal points or select the object. Let us say I am clicking over here. Click on this. I need to change the pattern. Okay. I need to use sectioning lines. Go to settings. The settings. So from here you can change the pattern. Go to ANSI and this first one. Okay. Let us preview it. I think it is okay. Right. So if it is okay, you can just press enter. So these are the sectioning lines. Right. Let us dimension this figure now. For the timing, let us deactivate line weight. Okay. Let us go to linear dimensioning first. this is equal to 48 this is equal to 
fifty vertically. This is sixty two. This is eighty four. Now let us move to radius. Select the radius. So for this, this is five mm. For this, it is eleven mm. For this arc, it is forty-eight mm radius. For this, it is R fifty. Radius is fifty. For this, it is radius twelve. Then, for this, it is R twenty five. For the smaller circle, it is R ten. For this larger circle, it is R seventeen. And what else? I think all the dimensioning has been done. So now I think the figure is complete in all respects. Let us increase the line weight. Let us move to the layout. Let us see if it is visible. The figure is okay, but two of the dimensions are not visible to us. So let us move the figure somewhat. Go to model again. Select the whole figure. Go to move command. This is move command. Click anywhere on the figure. Let us try to paste it. Now let us see it in the layout. The figure is completely visible to us. So this is it. So I'll press Control P to plot it. This will be converted into a PDF. So this is how you will be drawing this figure. Thank you very much.